Hi, this is Alex with IgoCamp, and today we're going to shift gears a little bit and talk about not sampling soil, but sampling the water or the moisture inside of your soil. And to do that, we're going to talk about rhizons. So rhizons are a nifty little tool that's either used in the lab or in the field for measuring that moisture. Uh, they're great, they're non-destructive, uh, they're, they're chemically inert, and they're, they're perfect for saturating that saturated or sampling that saturated or unsaturated uh, liquid phase inside of your soil. Why do we want to do that? Well, we might be looking at different nutrient uptake studies. Uh, we want to model that. We will look at uh, mineralization or the speciation of different metals or metalloids in your aqueous phase. And that's where these come into play because they're, like I said, non-destructive uh, and chemically inert. So they're great little samplers. We are ready to take a look at these rhizon samplers in, in more detail and actually get up close and personal. So we have our, our, our SMS samplers, our MOM, or MOM, CSS, and FLEX. And we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time on each of these. So first things first, these are the SMS samplers. So all rhizons are going to have this little white part here. So this is a, a porous uh, sample rod effectively. It's 0.15 micrometer diameter pore space, and it can be either five or 10 centimeters in length. Uh, depending on what you need. Uh, the, if you do the longer ones, you're gonna be able to get more volume quickly. But let's say you have a small pot or chamber that you're sampling, then you're gonna need that five centimeter. What's great about the SMS sampler is that it is actually reinforced with stainless steel. So you can see here, there's actually a little bit of there's a stainless steel uh, wire that is reinforcing it, which means it's, it's pretty robust. But the downside of that is that you cannot use it to sample uh, metals. So this is really for your, your macro elements, things like that. Uh, they all come with, here on the back, lure locks. So you can either have male or female. If you're doing male lure locks, that's where you're using uh, a needle and a vacuum tube because you have to apply the vacuum to get your, your moisture into your system. Or if you're using the female lure locks, that's where they come with uh, several different sizes of syringes. Uh, pretty, pretty standard. The next one over here, these are the MOM samplers. So very similar to the SMS. You can see they have the bulb tip. These ones are 10 centimeters. But the reinforcement in these is actually a glass, uh, a glass wire. So there's no metal. That means you can use these for macro elements, micro elements, dissolved gases, things like that. That just give you a little bit more flexibility. But still, once again, everything else is basically the same. Force base, the different type of connections as well. The next one, this is the CSS sampler. Uh, this is where you're looking at applications. The first two, the, 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 the MOM and SMS are great for uh, greenhouse or lab studies or pot studies. Let's say you want to push it into a undisturbed sample or a core sample. That's where this one comes in. So you can see here that the tip is different. This one happens to be the five centimeter variety, but it once again comes in the 10, meter, 10 centimeter. But this flat tip allows you to uh, actually push into those pores just a little bit without, without breaking down. These are the Rhizon Flex. They are called Flex because they are flexible. That's exactly right. So what you can do is you can actually take these bits when you go to put it into your pod or whatever type of study, you can actually bend them into the, space, the shape you need, put them in place, fill it with your dirt and start your plant study. So next we're gonna break down the macro rhizons and see why they're called macro rhizons. They're very large, right? So this one's actually 90 centimeters in length. Uh, the macro rhizons are ideal for field applications uh, when it, and when you need a little bit more volume of water. Uh, these typically go with a 50 milliliter syringe. So you're gonna pull a larger sample. To do that, you have your lure locks here, just like everything else. Uh, you're gonna use the syringes that we, we also provide as well. Uh, and, and you're gonna sample, put these out in the field. Uh, you usually will want an insertion rod to make sure that you're pre-drilling that hole uh, because these are still kind of fragile. You wanna make sure that you're gonna be able to get it into the subsurface. Looking at the sampler themselves, you can see why, also why they're called macro. They are pretty big. So these are relatively large samplers uh, and that allows for that larger volume as well of, of sample to be collected. You can see here, this is actually the, the porous sample part. Uh, this, is, this is the active area, but then when you zoom out, we have, uh, this one's 90 centimeters of PVC. So we have four different options for macro rhizons. We can have uh, zero centimeters of PVC where it's just this front tip. We can have 30 centimeters, 60 centimeters, all the way up to 90, depending on how deep you want to go in the field, how much you want sticking out of your field, uh, you know, to make sure you're seeing it. Uh, there's a lot of different options. And then there's also extension tubes, other things, so we can have you all set up and ready to go. Each of these have a different application, you know, what you're trying to sample, uh, where you're sampling, how long you're sampling, uh, or, or what you're doing. All of them have different applications. Uh, we'd, we'd love to help you select the right one. We have a lot of these in stock shipped to you pretty quickly, as well as the accessories, the syringes, the little 
wooden retainers that hold the syringe open so you don't have to pay grad students just to stand there. Uh, flashbacks to grad school. But these are the, the, the micro or the, the rhizomes. Uh, they're great little samplers when you're looking at that pore space, that water. This is Alex with Lyco Camp. Meet the difference.